All right, guys, so OpenAI's GPT-3 is currently taking the world by storm. It is a frenzy out there. People are building cool apps every single day, and I don't want us to miss out on the action. So that's why today I want to take you under the hood and show you how we can connect to the GPT-3 API with no coding knowledge needed so that we can then, as no coders, harness the power of OpenAI's new software inside of our own workflows and save us a bunch of time. All right, so to convey this message today and to hopefully get your juices flowing, I'm gonna take you through a very basic workflow where we are going to take one of my YouTube video transcripts over here, and we are going to feed that transcript into GPT-3, and we're gonna ask GPT-3 to summarize that transcript down to under 240 characters so that we can automatically tweet a summary of that video to our followers every time we post a video, all right? so. That's what we're gonna do. Hopefully this opens up your brain with possibilities here. Let's hop right in. All right, so I'm in make.com, formerly known as Integromat. This is an amazing software that I've never used before until about a week ago, and I'm loving it. So I'm a beginner, you're a beginner. Let's get right into this. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a uh, new scenario, and I'm gonna add a module. And we're just gonna keep it very basic here. Uh, I'm gonna look for a little module here or an app called Tools, all right? so. I'm going to hit that, and then I just want a basic trigger, all right? So this basically just, this lets us add a trigger without connecting to another app. So we can, we're just going to paste in our YouTube transcript here. So I'm going to hit add item, add item. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it YouTube transcript. And then the value, I'm going to go grab my YouTube transcript over here. Turn off my timestamps. I'm just going to copy and paste this, you know, 14 minute video transcript right into my value field right there, all right? And then I'll hit okay. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is we wanna go add another module. So we'll hit this. And this is where we're gonna go grab the OpenAI GPT-3 beta module right there. All right, we're gonna hit create a completion. And then you want to add your connection. So to do that, you're gonna hit add and then you can give it a name, and then you wanna go grab your API key from your OpenAI account. If you don't have an OpenAI account already, you need to go create one, go log in, and grab your API key and paste it in right there. Luckily, I've already done this, so I can just use my connection that's already set up. All right, so go do that. Model, we are going to do uh, text DaVinci 003. That's apparently the best one to use. All right, so we're gonna come down to prompt, and this is where we're gonna type in the prompt of what we want GPT-3 to do for us. So I'm gonna type in something like, summarize this transcript into a tweet, and then a colon, and then I will go grab, you can see we have this data field here, and this is the field that we set up on the first module, in that basic tools module. Remember, we called it YouTube transcript, so I'm just gonna click that. So now, into our prompt, it's gonna say, summarize this transcript into a tweet, and then I'll have the entire YouTube transcript pulling into the prompt, all right? All right, so max tokens is very interesting. This is basically where we tell the prompt how many characters we want our answer to be. So how long do we want our summary to be? Now, it's kind of uh, shaky on what the, what the conversion factor is, but for each token, you get about four characters. So I think tweets now can have 280 characters. So divide by four, and we should go somewhere around there for our tokens. I give it a little bit of cushion. So I, I just put in 55 tokens here. You can probably go a little more, or if your output is a little too long to tweet, and you're getting error messages, you can bump that down. So set that around 55. Temperature here, this is basically where you're telling it the creativity of the response you want. We want just a basic summary of our transcript. We don't need it to add any flair, any embellishment, any humor, nothing like that. So let's keep this as a low temperature, somewhere around 0, uh, 0 0.1, 0.2, 0 0.3, somewhere around there, all right? Perfect. We'll hit OK, leave the rest blank. All right, so let us now test this out and see if it's working. So we'll hit Run. You can see that worked fine. And then over here, we can see what our output is. So we come in here, and we go to Choices, and then 1, we can see what GPT-3 came up with for us. So that's kind of our summary of the transcript. It looks nice. Automated content creation for your business website just got easier with OpenAI or GPT-3. You can type in a prompt and get a sophisticated blog post written in seconds. That's what my last video was about. Gave me a couple hashtags here, which is pretty cool. 
so that's awesome. Now, if we didn't get what we really wanted here, we could always go back into our prompt and tweak how we word this. Now this, I kind of went through a little trial and error. I know that this works pretty well, but you can change this prompt to whatever you want, all right? So just keep that in mind. So that's all working well. And the last thing we want to do is we want to just tweet this out automatically. So whenever I paste in my transcript, the tweet just goes out live to all my followers without me having to type anything out. So we'll hit add another module here. We'll find Twitter and we will create a tweet right here. That's what we want to do. We have a bunch of different options, but we want to post a new tweet. Again, you want to add your Twitter connection. You're going to hit save here. It's going to launch up an authorization window. You sign into Twitter and you're all connected. I've already done that here. And then for status, this is what we're going to post on Twitter. So same thing as our second module. We're just going to go find this variable here. And for us, we want this text field right here. So this is our summary that I just read out. And so I'm just going to click that right there. It's going to populate. I'm going to hit OK. And we should be good to go. All right. So now if I come to Twitter, I have my Twitter open right here. I'm going to run this workflow and we should have a tweet appear right here automatically with the summary of our YouTube transcript. So let me run this once right here. That's going now. GPT three is loading the prompt and boom, boom, boom. Perfect. That's all good. If we go back to Twitter, maybe hit refresh. Boom. We are good to go right there. And there we have it. We have a tweet summarized for us automatically based off our YouTube transcript in the matter of about 10 seconds. All right, so I know this is a very basic example, but I hope this now shows you the possibility of different workflows that we can automate and simplify by using chat GPT three and connecting to their API without knowing how to code it all. So if you like this video, go down and smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing. There will be another video on a more complex workflow that we're going to use OpenAI for in next week's video. So stick around, hit subscribe if you want to see that video next week. Thank you guys for being here. It's awesome to be making these videos for you. I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments all the time. Ask me questions and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Again, thank you so, so much for all your support and I'll see you all on next week's video. Peace.